afternoon, everybody. Randy with the Rashley's Border Q. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be cooking bread in our Primo XL 400. That's right. We're going to be baking in a charcoal grill. So <clears throat> I've got some of this Fleshman's Simply Homemade bread mix because I'm not a baker. So I'm going to take this shortcut. Thanks to Fritz from Fritz's Cooking again for this idea. I'm going to mix it up. I've got the Primo XL 400 starting outside. We're going to get it up to about 400 degrees and we'll, uh, we'll come back whenever we start mixing the, the dough and then we'll head outside and put it on the grill. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. So what you get with this Fleshman's homemade baking mix is a package of flour and bread mix and a package of yeast. We're going to put the yeast in a cup of warm water and the instructions say between 120 and 130 degrees. So we're going to get some water warmed up to about 130 degrees, dissolve the yeast in it. We'll put the bread mix in here and then we'll pour the water and yeast into the bread mix, give it all a good mix. That way we make sure our yeast gets warm and activated. The grill is up to temp, about 400 degrees. And we've got some water that we put in the microwave, one cup of water. Brought it up to 127 degrees. We're going to go ahead and add the pack of yeast. And just give it a gentle stir. Kind of get that yeast mixed in. Don't want to get the water too hot. <clears throat> It'll actually kill the yeast. So they said 120 to 130. We're at 126, 127. We're just going to give that a few minutes, <clears throat> let the yeast go to town, and then we're going to we're going to go ahead and dump our mix in the pan. And while that's warming up, I'm just going to kind of fluff this up and break up any clumps that'll be in it. Okay, the yeast has been sitting for a while. I made sure there were no clumps, that it's all, all dissolved. Our mix is already in the bowl. We're going to go ahead and add our cup of water. And then it says stir until a ball is formed. And again, I'm not a baker, people, so I'm following the directions verbatim. We'll just kind of stir it gently until we form a, a dough ball. Then it says once the dough ball forms, we're going to press it out flat and kind of knead it. We're going to fold it over 10 to 20 times. We'll stir it a little bit more and then we'll start the kneading process. I better get a little bit of flour because this is going to be a little bit sticky. Get a little flour to flour the outside so it won't stick too much. Okay, we're just going to sprinkle a little flour on the outside of the dough ball. Kind of keep it from sticking to our hands so bad. Flatten it out and then fold it over. Flatten and fold. It says 10 to 20 times. So I'm going to continue to work on that. After we get that, we'll show you when we get ready to cover it with a towel and let it rise for a little bit. For those who are like me who've never baked before, I'm going to show you what we were doing. We're just punching it down flat and then folding it over on itself, punching it down again and folding it over. But we've already done that about 20 times or so. I've got some flour in the bottom of the bowl so it won't stick. I'm going to go ahead, put it back in the bowl, cover it with a towel and we'll let it rise for a while. We're going to let it rise 45 minutes. Then we'll shape our uh, our our loaf and get it on the grill. Okay, we've turned it out onto our greased cookie sheet. We're just kind of gently forming it up into a loaf. We've actually just about got it there already. I'm going to put just a couple of decorative cuts across the top. Not very deep. And we're going to get it outside and get it on the grill. The grill's up to about 400 degrees. Give you a quick look at how we have the Primo set up. The bottom grate, bottom vent is open about a finger width. 
top wheel is shut and the holes are open about oh about half a hole width which has given us about 415 degrees on the dial the uh, IQ I mean the I grill is sitting at about 398 degrees so we're right around 400 degrees inside we have two heat deflectors so we're running complete indirect both heat deflectors are in and then we have the grills in the upper position so that's where we're going to set the bread there we go we're going to give it 20 to 30 minutes and we'll come out and give it a check still sitting on about 405 degrees and it's been 21 minutes so let's open it up and take a look. Ha, ah, it looks like bread. Put a toothpick in and comes out clean, so I'm thinking it's done. We're going to take it up and put it on a cooling rack, let it cool off and then we'll slice it and test it oh it smells so good I can't wait to slice it but let's let it cool a little bit I'm impatient and it just smells too good to let it sit here so we're gonna go ahead and slice into it slap a little honey butter spread on it and see what it tastes like <clears throat> So there it is, and here we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So there we have it, home-baked bread, cooked on the Primo XL 400 over lump charcoal, and it is good. Give you a quick look at the bottom. It didn't get too tough, it didn't burn. Just right. You can't beat it. Just as good as if it was baked in the oven. I tell you, it's just. <laughs> Uh, some of these grills are so flexible and people don't realize what all they will do. You can bake, you can grill, you can smoke, all on the same ceramic grill, the Primo XL 400. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, click like. Hit the little subscribe button down here in whichever corner it's in. We'll be back with another video soon. So Randy with Rashley's Border Q saying adios, and we'll see you all down the road. Mm -hmm.